It's a real honor to address the United Nations and to be given an exceptional privilege to speak on behalf. The UN has been given the responsibility to establish common standards for the sustainable development of our 21st century world. You know, I respect UNICEF and I think they are uh, they're doing a tremendous work in, uh, with, with kids. Yes, tremendous work works, works with uh, the V's, the V's, giving V's to the children of the world. And he is supposedly is an anti-V. Here is CNBS, guys, that of course will tell us that he was poor and he made it. Uh, it's not that he had the right blood to be a billionaire, but uh, let's hear. The journey to the pinnacle of world tennis started from humble beginnings for Novak Djokovic, playing in one of the most competitive oh. areas. And that Nelson Mandela, as a founder of this wonderful organization, was right when he said that the sport has the power to change the world. Yes, indeed, Nelson Mandela was right, yes, yes, Nelson Mandela was right, yes, the Templar, yes. And this sporting legend is looking to change the world for children in Serbia and beyond. He and his wife... Oh boy, hi children, he is coming to save you. Wow, this, uh, his logo now reminds me of this uh, Uncle Star that they have in Washington, D.C streets you know anti-voxer but you gotta pull the muzzle okay sheep oh uh, Joe Vox the Joker Foundation believe in their dreams children of his foundation uh, where we will be without your help you monsters you help the children we can see through your bullshit you monsters you can fool the dumb sheep, but not us. You pieces of shit. Wow, so he is a no-vaxxer and he makes masks with his name on the mask. Unbelievable. So get this, guys. I mentioned my parents met at the mountain. We used to spend a lot of time there because we as a family depended on the business that was run on the mountain. Our, my, my parents run the restaurant and that's why me and my two younger brothers, whenever we had a school break from Belgrade where we lived, most of the time so in, in communism his family had a business guys communism so as you can see here he is ranked number one numero uno 
in the tennis world rank and and you want me to believe this shit you know that uh, this guy just made it uh, was poor humble beginnings and everything you know and now it takes millions you know they made him go so high you know number one as tennis player you know, gets millions you know and his family, you know, when Serbia was like, uh, even after communism, you know, Serbia was was shit, guys, because there was the war that the beautiful uh, America went there and bombarded and divided those countries. But so, even though uh, Serbia has has been longer, even after communism, a shit hole, you know, his family had a business. You know? This is maybe people do not get it. These people, even when there was communism, his family was at the top, guys. Get it? They have the right blood. That's why he then became number one tennis player. You know how many people are good at playing tennis, guys, but you do not go ahead. They don't let you go ahead. If you have the right blood, yes, you go ahead. Sergej Djokovic is his father. Look, oh, very nice guy. He was also professional sport. He was a skier, maybe. Yes, in communism. Yes, it's very common. Now look at this shit, guys. This is the Ser Serbian uh, flag with a double head eagle, of course, and the crown, a corona. And these are morons that are protesting uh, because. Uh, this billionaire, and this is the father that I was saying, you know. He's now, there is, there is this Israeli, how do you say, protesting because he, they are not making him play in Australia. This billionaire, you know. And morons with muzzles, you know, look at the morons with muzzles, guys, are there protesting. Oh, let the billionaire play in Australia. Look at the lots of morons there with the flag, you know. Look, look at the moor here yeah, protesting. Oh, let the billionaire play. Oh, meanwhile, you know, they have the fucking muzzle. Brain dead, guys. Brain dead. With a double headed eagle here. The dumb moron. The fucking dead. Which in reality is a phoenix, of course. As we know, uh, he, this is the one that it's in the book uh, of Albert Pike, you know, Morals and Dogma. He is also a goat, guys, uh, which um, being this world run by the, the, the pieces of shit that believe in, in that shit, uh, it, well, uh, officially it stands for greatest of all time, but you know, they like the fact that uh, this. Uh, this initials, you know, if you put it like this, because you could very well, you know, uh, made it like, uh, uh, you know, a best of all time, you know, instead of a greatest of all time. But they wanted that G there because it's, it's, it makes the word goat. And so if you go online, guys, and put goat, it's very like uh, something that. Uh, it's really a goat. Oh, he's the go Is he the goat? Or, or oh no no yeah yeah he's the goat yeah. Goat. Just coincidence. Greatest of all time. Now in your in your real in your opinion, guys, uh, will this clown be uh, you know for the fight against climate change, guys? Yes, you guessed it. Join sports for climate action. Together, let's win the race against the climate change. Clown. So basically, guys, to end with this clown, uh, uh, they wanted to, they, 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 you know, they, they made him be the no, the no vax, you know, the anti-vaxer. And to do this theater of uh, him not being able to play in uh, this latest competition in Australia because because uh, the rules are even for for the number one billionaire, you know, 
and uh, and you know they say they didn't let him play whatever you know it was just you know uh, something to make the the morons watching ah oh, look even even he must uh, obey the rules so what am I to protest you know so that's it with this clown guys Joe.